Oh! <laughs> oh god, I can't, I can't, I can't deal, I can't deal. How do people do this? Hi friends, my name is Joel and welcome back to my booktube channel. If you have yet to check out my Reading Rush reading vlog, you should definitely go check that out because we do a lot of things in that video. I show you how I make my bookish outfits, we make cheesecake, and I read some quite good and also a disappointing book. So you should definitely go check that out. And if you're not following me on my Twitter nor my bookstagram, go and follow those as well because I post some extra bookish content on there too. For today's video, I want to show you all of the books that I received in the month of July. But before we actually get into that, I received two exciting packages today. So I want to quickly unbox those for you. So I don't know which one to do first. We have this cool little package here and then we have this package here. I think I'm gonna do the big one first. I already know what this is because I am obsessed with this artist. Oh, okay, we have the Orla Garland vinyl. Orla Garland is like one of the most amazing artists that I listen to. Her work is just so amazing and we now have an iconic vinyl and the vinyl looks amazing as well. If I can Oh my god, it looks so amazing. It's a transparent vinyl. It's a transparent vinyl. Like, wow, you can still see my face in through it. I just now need a vinyl player that I can play this on. But I'll get one eventually. I am just super happy with this and it looks amazing. Like, wow. And it's a great start to my vinyl collection as well. And then next I have a really cool package from one of my friends, Leo, from Books with Leo. She runs a bookish uh, merch shop and so when she restocked with these amazing bookmarks I knew I had to buy one and I'm just super excited to finally have them in my hands. <gasps> oh my god! Hi Joel, I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> She sent me like a little note as well. <laughs> I'll show you what I got, what I bought from her store first. Look, look how beautifully wrapped everything is. This is just so gorgeous. So I got these Moon and Lovers bookmarks and, oh, that's cute. Like the back is quite cute. Like, oh, but just look, look at how gorgeous these are. Like, I just, she is so talented and you need to like i will say this till the day i die support your artist friends support like your friends who create and sell their merch like these are just so beautiful and i cannot wait to use them when i read my books and i definitely am gonna take some books to grand photos with these today fucking gorgeous amazing wow and then i also got this cute print as well and I'm basically gonna have it framed and pop somewhere on my wall I believe because I think it contribute really nice to my gallery wall and on the flip side I have Leo's signature now so when she eventually becomes like rich and famous I can say that I have her signature so you know and then she also added a few goodies as well because she said she loves me and I love her too so um I got this really cute sticker of like a constellation girl basically me if i was a woman like when i mentioned in my anticipated reads video about me wanting to be a parallel version of myself i believe she would be the parallel version of myself i have a sticker version of the print that i bought which is just really amazing and gorgeous as well i'm just really excited by these bookmarks and they just feel like high quality as well and just super gorgeous and i just yeah I just want to thank Cleo for making these and yeah, I just, I just love them. I love them. I love them. And I will have Leo's channel and shop linked in the description down below as well. So that if you want to go support her and also buy any of these gorgeous bookmarks, you can do so because they're amazing and I love them and you should do it because wow. Okay. So whole time. It's going to be quite a fun video. So 
For books that I bought this month, I bought six books this month. The first one was A Dragon Pill by Yoon Ha Lee. If you've watched my Creedathon vlog, you'd know that I really love this book and I'm going to talk more about it in my wrap-up video, but I'm just really hype by this book. And one issue drew me to it was one, the cover, but also two, how um, cool the synopsis was. And so I knew it was going to be one of the books that I'd be picking for Creedathon. Next was Wicked Fox by Kat Cho. I've yet to read this book, but I think it's going to be one that I'll be reading quite soon, purely because despite its size, I think it'll be quite a quick read. Plus, I am feeling the need for like a Korean drama inspired read because I'm currently watching It's Okay to Not Be Okay and it's amazing. I still need to watch the two episodes that I haven't watched yet, but yeah, it's just gonna be amazing and gorgeous and wow. And I'm just really excited to read this one too. The third book is Kim Ji Young Born 1982. Again, this was another one that I read during Koreathon. I really enjoyed this and I really loved the exposition of how women are treated in Korea. And so it's definitely one I think you should go pick up. Again, I did talk about this in my Koreathon blog and I will be talking about it in my wrap up as well. Next, I picked up Pachinko by Min Jin Lee. Again, this was another one that I didn't get to read during Koreathon, but it is one I'm going to be reading at some point because I'm definitely intrigued by the story and this is one of Monica Kim's favourite books and so I think it's definitely one that I will try and read and then probably go into her DMs and be like oh my god I need to tell you everything let's discuss this book. I just love how gorgeous the cover looks and how it's like beautifully designed like I am a hoe for good cover design and so just seeing this gorgeous amazing wow and then next we have loveless by alice oseman this was one of the books that i attempted to read during the reading rush however i didn't get around to it although i definitely think it's going to be one of the books that i'm going to be reading in august because it's definitely a story that i think i personally need to read plus alice oseman is an author that i really wanted to get into for the longest time and so i definitely think this is going to be my gateway book to her writing and I'm just really excited because a lot of people have definitely told me good things about Alice Oseman's work and I also really like how all of her covers match as well and so once I collect them all it's just going to be an amazing collection. And the last book that I have bought this month is The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. This book is a beast and a lot of people are afraid of reading it because of its sheer size. I'm just quickly checking to see if it has anything naked on it but no it's just like a plain blue bag with that and I think it's definitely a book that I'm going to attempt to read at some point before the end of the year but I think that it's something that I am really excited for because I uh, I really love high fantasy and I really love what people have been saying about this book once they have read it. I'm really excited to get into it and again this cover just looks so beautifully designed and there's dragons which already sells me. Oh this is also signed. I feel like because the book is split into various sections, I think it'll be easy to read it like in parts as and when. However, I do want to try and read it within a weekend. So maybe I can do a reading vlog at some point of me being like, I attempt to read Priory of the Orange Tree within a weekend. But I definitely think it's something that I'm going to love and it's definitely something that I want to read. Now going into the books that I received from publishers this month, the first book is Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Bayron. This was one that I did try to read for the reading rush as well, but I didn't get around to it. However, again, it is one that I am going to be reading in August because it is one that I am excited for, plus the UK publication date is in August as well so I think I'll definitely want to read that before then. I got this book because I signed up for the Pride Book Tour on Bookstagram and so you'll be getting a cute bookish photo soon with this cover in again although I've already done a bookish outfit inspired by this uh, book which came out super well and yeah it's a sapphic Cinderella and so what's not to like about this book? And then I received The Unspoken Name by A.K. Larkwood. I don't really know much about this book. Again it hasn't really got anything on the hardback. It is one that a lot of people have said is really good and so whilst I don't know much about it, it is one that I am really excited to read purely because of what other people have said about it, like how amazing it is. Wow, okay, something that I should read. So I definitely think it's one that I'm gonna try and read soon, although I do not know when. And now that I've like kind of read the synopsis, I think that it's something that is definitely right up my street in terms of fantasy and I am just really intrigued by the like what the plot details. 
And so let's just hope that it lives up to the hype. Next, I received The Space Between Worlds by Michaela Johnson, again, because of Pride Book Tours, but I'm also super excited to be reading this book because it is one of my anticipated reads for the rest of 2020. And I just love how gorgeous this cover looks as well. And again, whilst it doesn't have, it has like quite a nice spine design on the naked hardback, but um, it's something that I'm really intrigued by because again, parallel universes, we're traveling between them and like there's a whole mystery and mystery is something I'm gonna be getting into a lot and I'm just super excited to see what happens in this. And yeah, I'm just really happy that I now have a copy to digest and read. And then finally, I also received Eight Pieces of Silver by Patrice Lawrence. This one I received because I am doing a blog post and also a Instagram post. The blog post went up yesterday, so you can go and check that out. I will have my blog link in the description down below. I talk about five reasons why I'm excited to be reading Eight Pieces of Silver. Honestly, though, each of those reasons are really valid and I'm just super excited to, again to be reading another mystery in August and I think it's just gonna be really cool and amazing. Patrice Lawrence is writing. If you haven't read Orange Boy I would really recommend you go read that as well because Orange Boy is just emotionally powerful as a book and Patrice Lawrence has a way of displaying the typical life of a UK black person so vividly and amazingly that I can't help but be excited for Eight Pieces of Silver and see, one, how this story goes, but also two, what K-pop groups Bex and Silver stan. Then going now from books that I was gifted, I was sent uh, The Gilded Ones by Namina Fauna, but in two editions, I was sent the Fairy Loot exclusive edition with like the, I'm gonna say like emerald turquoise sprayed edges. And this one was given to me by Sammy. They DM'd me saying that they had one and that they were willing to send it to me. And so they did. And they attached a really nice note to it as well. And and I'm just really thankful that I now have this version and I'm really excited to be getting into the Gilded Ones because I first heard about this when I was in the Usborne Academy and even from then I was just like really excited for it. But then I also received the US advanced readers copy. This one was given to me by Alexandra from Twirling Pages and again she had also attached a really nice note to there as well and I'm just really thankful for receiving both of these copies and now I have every motivation to start collecting every edition and so I now need to get the arc that has like just all gold on it so I'm gonna have to try and find that at some point. I just love how these look and how amazing they are and I'm just really hyped to be getting into it. And another book that I had received is Not So Pure and Simple by Lamar Giles. I saw someone make a post about this on Twitter asking if they could forward this to a black reviewer and I was already interested in Not So Pure and Simple so I was like yeah I'm really interested in this. Amy from Amy's Bookish Life was able to send me this. I just think it's gonna be really nice to read and also just explore the world and the story of it as well. I'm just really hype and really excited. Okay, and now we're going to go towards the books that I have been gifted this month. These books have mostly been gifted from my Amazon wish list, but also some of my close friends have decided to give me books through Book Depository. And so I'm really thankful for anything that I receive from my Amazon wish list. And so like it makes me really emotional <laughs> all these books that I've been given and how much your support means the world to me. We've just grown quite a nice nice family on this channel. It's been like a month and a half and we already have quite a nice family and it's just amazing and we're all friends and it's a safe space and we love it. We love it here. Positive vibes. And so let us begin. The first book from Book Depository is from Maha. Um, she has a book blog which I will link down below but she gifted me a hardcover version of Tyler Johnson Was Here. Just look how gorgeous the nakedness is. Like it's got, it's like in bot. Is it in, no it's is it? No, it's not embossed. Embossed is when it's debossed. Is it debossed? This is just super gorgeous. I definitely want to recreate this cover at some point or like do a bookish outfit inspired by it. I love this book so much. I mentioned how I didn't have a hardcover copy of Tyler Johnson was here and Maha was like, I will gift you one. I've wanted to gift you a book for the longest time and now I have a book to gift you. And I was like, okay. And now I actually have a copy and I'm just super happy and I'm definitely gonna be rereading this. I'm ready to cry again and I'm ready to suffer again and I'm ready to just experience everything again and so thank you Maha. 
Thank you. The next book was gifted to me by Danny from The Book Order. We are both planning to read The Poppy War at some point. And so I was like, I really want The Poppy War in hardcover, but it's not available here. But for some reason, Book Depository decided to make the hardcover only available in Canada. And so Danny was just like, yeah, um, if you want, I can just gift you the hardcover version of The Poppy War. And I was just like, what? <laughs> You're so amazing, thank you. I'm so glad we're friends. I now have a hardcover vision of The Poppy Ball by R.F. Kuang. The hype is real for this book. Everyone basically mentions to me that I need to read this and how they're all looking forward to my suffering, how they're looking forward to me dying of pain. And I'm just like, wow, the friends I have. It looks really gorgeous naked. It has like a really cool design for R.F. Kuang and it just, looks really nice and sleek as well. And I'm thinking the story will be nice, sleek, and also stabbing me in multiple places. But I'm really excited to be reading The Poppy War. I also managed to receive the Ark of the Burning God this month as well. So all I need to get now is The Dragon Republic, and then I can binge the series and suffer all at the same time. Thank you so much to Danny for gifting me this. I am just really thankful and I am excited to have my heart ripped out. Michelle gifted me The Binding by Bridget Collins, and I received a YouTube comment about how nice the nakedness of this is, so we're gonna see together. I don't think you're ready. I don't think you're ready. We're gonna do this together. Three, two, one. I, I, I hit myself with, in the face, but this is so gorgeous. This is so beautifully designed. I am an emotional mess. This cover is so amazing that I certainly have telekinetic powers and I'm telling everyone to read this, even though I haven't read it yet. And basically what initially attracted me to this book is that my friend Carla from university basically keeps telling me to read this. And so now that I finally have a copy, I have no excuse. Basically follows someone that goes to work within a library, I believe. And it's like how someone captures memories within a book, but our main character finds a book with their name on. And that's where the story begins. Like that just seems really cool and really amazing. And I, I've heard so many good things about this book and how immersive the storytelling is. And so it is one that I'm really excited for. Next, Catherine gifted me Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. Again, this is a mystery novel and one that I'm quite interested in as well because I want to eventually write my own mystery novel. And so reading up on a lot of mystery now would be pretty good for when I eventually go to plan my own mystery. And everyone was recommending me Truly Devious to read. And I think it's just gonna be quite awesome as well in how the story is told. Although I don't know whether I want to wait until I get all of the books and binge them. I hear a lot of good things about Truly Devious as a sets up to be a good mystery and it d does its plot beats correctly. So I definitely think it's going to be a good novel to learn from. But yeah, this one is a murder mystery that takes place in a private school and I'm really a good sucker for private school mystery novels. Amazing, excited to read it, wow. Next, Samantha has gifted me My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell. I think this one I saw on uh, Goodreads that was recommended to me. I was intrigued initially and ooh, it's got like a metallic thing naked. I won't say what it's about because it talks a lot about sexual assault. I will have all the links to the synopsis um, the Goodreads page in the description down below. I think I was drawn to this because the synopsis was quite powerful and I definitely think it's something that I would like to read. I'm definitely gonna try and read this at some point. It is one that I am looking forward to read as well. Next on the list, I have two books. Caitlin had gifted me Gather Life, Chloe Brown, and Samantha had gifted me Take a Hint, Danny Brown, both by Talia Hibbert. These books have been recommended to me so many times. I think mostly it was Mina from Mina Reads who recommended both these books because I'm planning to read 
romance this month for the very first time and do a little bit of a reading vlog about it. I just think it'd be really interesting to see my reactions to romance novels. Having both of these books as a nice staple towards my very first exploration into romance would be really good. And I hear Talia Hibbert's writing is just amazing and very like sexy as well. So I am really excited to see what this is about. I think Noelle is reading Take a Hint Danny Brown at the moment. So I might ask her what she's thinking of it at the moment. Uh, but I'm just really excited to start delving into romance and seeing what it's all about. And I just want to thank Caitlin and Samantha for giving me both of these books for making that reading vlog also possible. I have like a list of books that I still need to get. They're on my wish list, so eventually I'll get to them. Really cool. But they've also, ch I just noticed the publisher changed their logo like part of the way through. Yeah, I'm just excited. I'm really excited. Samantha also gifted me the Adventure Zone graphic novel part two, which is Murder on the Rockport Limited. I finished here they be girdlins last night so now that i have moved on the rockport limited i can continue with the series and i'm just really excited to be getting into this one as well because this is where angus mcdonald is introduced and angus is my boy angus is my baby and look at my child look at my child he is amazing he is sassy he is everything that I want my future child to be. Thank you Samantha for giving me volume two of the graphic novel. Volume three came out quite recently however it's not available because I was going to pre-order it but then I realized I wasn't able to get the pre-order incentives but I should have pre-ordered it anyway because then I would have received it. I now have volume two so I might read this tonight or at some point. And then from Rosie I received the mass market paperback of A Princess in Theory by Alyssa Cole. Again this is another book that I'm planning to read for my romance reading vlog and so I think it was Nina again that recommended me read A Princess in Theory and like as a staple romance and it's such a small like little book and it's just so cute. I am just really in like intrigued by the synopsis. If I do like more romance then I'm definitely gonna try and read a lot more romance books as well. Thank you so much Rosie for giving me A Princess in Theory. I am super excited to read this and I'm super excited to get into a lot more of Alyssa Cole's works as well and I just think it's gonna be really cool and really fun. And last but certainly not least from Tina I received I received Heartstopper Volume 1 by Alice Oseman. I think I might read this for the romance reading vlog as well because like boy meets boy but I'm just super excited to finally have the first volume of the Heartstopper graphic novel series. This one has been recommended to me a lot specifically by my uni friend Owen who has honestly ranted to me a lot of times to get Heartstopper and Owen I finally have it okay I finally have it. And the art style just looks super amazing. And it's one that I'm very, 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 very excited to be getting into. And it's one that I'm definitely going to be reading soon. It. I think I might read it for the romance reading vlog because I think it would be quite cool to have like a nice balance between like graphic novels, but also actual literature, but then also having a nice balance between male slash male, het romances, and then I might try and find sapphic romances as well. I do have the Seven Husbands of Alvin Hugo, which might fit, and I think I will be reading that late into the night. Wait, I think that's, that, that is everything. Okay, that is all of the books that we have hauled this month. That is a, quite a few books, but I am thinking the next few months are gonna be crazier who knows we will see um like i know there's a few books on the way already like i'm getting i requested christopher paulini's advanced readers copy of to sleep in a sound of stars which should hopefully be here soon because i'm super excited for christopher paulini's sci-fi series like aragon was amazing i loved it as a kid because i read it through my school's library so i definitely want to try and get my own personal editions just because i love that series a lot i also have the house in the cerulean sea which is on the way because Elias basically loves that story a lot. I asked him whether I should read it and he basically shouted at me saying I needed to and so I ordered it right away because he told me to read it and now Mina's telling me to read it, Asia's telling me to read it. So yeah there's a lot of people I'm gonna have to update. If I end up an emotional mess I am blaming Elias. I am blaming you. <laughs> Every person does it when they do a book haul and they try and hold up all of the books that they got. However, it's always like a hard endeavor because like, obviously you're holding quite a lot of books at once, but we'll see what happens. I'm gonna try and get all of my books together and we'll see how it goes. Oh no. How big is this pile? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have 23 books on this pile and I'm about to try and carry them all. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, how am I gonna, I mean, oh. <laughs> God, I can't, I can't, I can't deal, I can't deal. How do people do this? There we go. Right. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to click the subscribe button so that you're notified whenever I upload next. This week's shout out fits also goes out to some of the book vlogs and also booktubers that I'll have linked in the description down below. So you should definitely go check them out. If you want to support this channel any further, I have my social media links in the description down below. And I also have my coffee page, which you can use to donate to support me with anything really like books future trips to like conventions and stuff and whatever and i also have my amazon wish list which you can use to give me books as well which will be featured in future haul videos like this one until the next time bye friends